Hey, what is up, everyone? It's Lenny Master 23 here. Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Tells You Your Door. And, well, on the previous episode, we uh, began to. Well, we continued exploring through the uh, Palace of Shadow. And we're now in this court. Uh, seemingly a courtyard area. Uh, that um, flies kind of around the area. And in this episode, we're just going to be continuing further down this, uh, the, the realm. Further down this area, there's a heart block right there. Oh. Anyways, before I got interrupted, I was going to say there's a heart block right here that I can use so That I can definitely use right here. Um. <clears throat> so anyways, uh. Now we could enter this door, but I kind of want to take care of some stuff first. So. You might notice that there are some that there's uh, there's some switches over there that you can access through pipes, and I can use take a this is a palace garden. It feels so cool and icky. It's like time stopped it. God, just to think about this change has in the middle. If you want to move on, yeah, that's right. I don't just mean the moving ones. So yeah, these guys. So what you want to do here is well, there's lots of bobbery, and if I can get it right. Well, that works. I, I thought you had to throw it into the mouth. <clears throat> that's why I was like, oh no. I messed, that's, that's why I thought I messed up. So you hit this switch. And it reveals a boat platform. That you can use. This is good for later. Alright, and then you pretty much just do the same thing with the other one. Uh, with this other, and then you do the same thing with this other one right over here. Um, again, toss Bobbery. Yeah, so, if I could, if I could jump on this pipe, that'd be nice. Okay, anyways. Come on here. Through real another boat platform. So basically we head around. Okay, actually we need to cross this bridge first. I'm gonna swap back to Gabella because she'd be really helpful for this uh, area in the middle. Of course I could go to the door on the right first, but I kind of wanted this. You know. So we can try to explore this area. I don't think there's any treasures sitting in the water, so I don't think I have to really worry about anything like that. But, we can head over here, we can head in this door, so if we head in here, so there's a bunch of different rooms over here, so this, this room right here, beyond, 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 complete all seven before before, so we're basically taught a couple riddles here. There's something written on the wall. Based on that message, I'd say, that word beyond probably refers to away from the door. So that means the left block. So then the word before must refer to the right block. Are you with me, Mario? Still, the way they repeat this word must have some meaning too. So, read this thing again. Beyond, beyond, beyond. Complete all seven before, before. The beyond. So you hit this one three times. And this one twice. There's a chest. Got a palace key. Now as we head to this room right over here. You might notice it's a bit of a puzzle. Another puzzle here. Four stones, twin stones. Master of shadow and dark, two are one, one is two. There's something written on the wall. Based on that message, I'd say. Maybe if we break a block here, it'll do something to a block in another room. So we can break this block right here. But we can't do anything about these other blocks for a while. So we'll have to come back here later. 
Um, heading in this this room is on the top right. All you see isn't all there be. Stone set up the power of stars. Touch it to pass through it. There's something written on the wall. Based on that message I'd say, there's something fishy about the wall here. Uh, maybe we ought to investigate. It's just... This wall is fake. You hit this switch, and it reveals a chest. Get another palace key. There's a total of, I believe, eight palace keys. Uh, we gotta head down here to this room. This room right over here. So, the unseen may yet be felt, so that we, the Great Ones, be it here, be it there. There's something written on the wall. They send that message, I'd say. There's definitely something in the center of the room, don't you think? But what are we supposed to do with something we can't see? This is insanity. As you might notice, there's something solid in the middle of this room. He just looks a flurry. Um, switch back to Gabella. And we get another palace key. So that is three palace keys so far, because we didn't get that one. But there's another set of rooms right up here, so we can head down here to this room right over here. You might notice there's some dry bones sitting on the ground. Also, I do not want to battle them. Let fall the weakest, and let the sky fly, then build this to the strongest. But you first. Now, so you can see, we only get one SP from that because it's, it's an earlier enemy. This is. I forgot to- there's something written on the wall. Based on that message, I'd say. We're supposed to defeat these guys in order, from weakest to strongest? Uh, well, I know the weakest is Dolbos and the Green Shooter. That pump. As you might notice, you just go from green, then red, then white, then blue. <laughs> it looks like- it's kind of fun that we're just one-shotting these guys. We won't one-shot the other two, though. Um, Unfortunately, because obviously they're from this area. Well, I get the white ones first. Next. Oops. Um, yeah, sorry, I got distracted a little bit. Sorry about that. That's okay. Get a little bit more XP. Why did I say XP? I meant Stark Ones. Well, then again, it's kind of the same thing. Then we fight, finally fight this guy. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, by the way, if you do end up fighting these guys in the wrong order, like something, you can just leave the room and then come back. So. You can always just leave the room and come and then re enter the, the room if you uh, end up doing it in the wrong order. So there's that. You don't have to worry about that. Alright, house key number four. Obtained. Alright, so this room up here is interconnected with that. Now this room right over here. Looks seemingly familiar, doesn't it? Four stone twin souls can live again by the stone to our one one is two. So it's the same something based on, based on the wall. Based on that message I'd say, maybe if we break a block here, it'll do some to block another the room. So yeah, this one and the second room we encounter are interconnected. So as you might notice, we break two blocks in this room, and then we can go back to room number two. 
So we can come back to that room downstairs. Also, where is... Where's the stair entrance? Oh. So then we gotta come back down here to, the, to this room. Um... I gotta head down here. As you might notice, uh, these, this block. So yeah, as you can see, these blocks... Those red ones, you're unable to break, you just have to do that. And then you hit this block in this room, and then we can get that chest right here. And then we can get that other one in, in the room above this one. So, for this, obtain another palace key. That please just exit the room. There we go. Um, then we gotta climb up some more stairs, and then yeah, do all the other bowl bowl. Pretty sure we have we have five right now, so yeah. So you head in this back in this room. As you see, no red block underneath this one because those two rooms are interconnected. There we go, palace key. Now rooms three and four are, I believe, somewhat similar. Uh, now, now these two rooms are kind of similar to the previous one, so like, yeah, so. so this room. Straight down, straight onward, we know the stars of spur and us destroy all in your path. Something written on the wall, we send that message, I say, I guess we just have to go straight in from the entrance. And then when we get to the wall, we have to do something, yeah, something. I mean, the only logical thing is by, well, blowing it up. Yep. So this is somewhat similar to that other room where the wall was fake. In this one, you had to blow up the wall. And I guess in this last room, I'm pretty sure we had seven houses. Yep, seven. Uh, you're supposed to have eight. So let's take a look at this last room and see what we have here. The Shy One hides his shape, but the stars bring balance. The Shy One hides his face. There's something written on that wall. I always saw that message, I'd say, that if we can be seen, then there won't be anything to see in this room. Huh. So this one's also related to the other. The other one, we couldn't see the chest, and in that room, and in this room, the room can't, should not be able to see us. So the only way we can do that is switch to Vivian, and then use the violin ability. There we go. Oh. Uh, so it's just invisible, but you, but using baby and just reveals it's where it's located. So there's that. That was key. So now we have eight. How long have I been recording? I've been recording for 14 minutes. It's plausible. So now we head up here, and as you might notice... Mario, look at that! It's totally huge. What is it, you think? How could there be such a huge tower underground? Why was it built? There seems to be a lot of rooms here, and every one contains a riddle. So as you can see, there's something right here that we can't do about yet. And these, so that means I did do some... You guys, there's like another thing that I forgot about. Um, that I had forgotten about. And it probably had something to do with that door. So it probably had something to do with that door. We head out in this courtyard. So as you can see, there's a star-shaped thing that probably is like, that probably is like some kind of lock, uh, for that little thing. And that thing has something to probably has something to do with the eight keys. So we can't do anything with the eight palace keys quite yet. And I have a gut feeling it has something to do with this room on the right. 
And I suspect that has something to do with this door to the right. I'm going to heal myself real quick. With that, I'm actually going to end it off right over here. So, we'll be tackling that next right, right door on the next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Feel free to like and subscribe, of course, you don't have to. Although, I would greatly appreciate it if you do. And of course, hope you all have a nice day, and I will see you guys next time. And with all that, what was to say? Peace out.